Hello and welcome. This is Rami Yacoub, Executive Director of the Tahrir Institute for Middle East Policy, also known as TIMEP. Today, I'm joined by Alicia Graybeck. Alicia is a researcher, an anthropologist, and a digital and human rights activist. Alicia, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Earlier this year, the Danish government revoked the residency permits of dozens of Syrian refugees living in Denmark. The decision was based on conclusions by the Danish Refugee Appeals Board that certain areas in Syria were safe for return. Dozens of refugees were told they only had weeks to return to Syria or to be sent to deportation camps. Alicia, considering your activism in that field and your ties to Denmark, can you tell us uh, more about the circumstances of the situation? Revoking the residencies of Syrian refugees is part of Denmark's racist and xenophobic move towards having a zero refugee policy, and it's sending a message that refugees are not welcome in Denmark. Uh, right now, hundreds more cases have been reopened for evaluation because Denmark is claiming that Damascus and surrounding areas are safe. Uh, this is mainly affecting women and the elderly, as men are usually given uh, different protection because of the risk of military conscription. It's also important to note that the report Denmark used to back up the finding that Damascus is safe directly contradicts the international consensus of the reality in Syria and has been widely condemned including by 11 of 12 uh, cited experts in the report, saying that the findings misrepresented the data and their testimonies. So in February, uh, Denmark made the move to revoke hundreds of residencies at one time, which was not reported on in Danish media or in global media. Uh, Syrian refugees who got that notice were given a month to return to Syria or be detained in these deportation camps. It became imperative that the Danish public and international community 